Lois, are you sure about this? I mean, if you want, I can be in there with you. No, Clark. I'll be fine. You stay at the planet. Don't hesitate to take off your glasses if anything goes awry. You know I never hesitate, though. I know a small bill. Time to interview this lunatic is limited, Miss Lane. I know, officer. Thank you. Why don't you sit down, dearie? So we can have our little chat. I would ask if you don't mind this being recorded, but in your current predicament, I don't think you have much choice on the matter. Aaron Scott, alias The Joker, Age 25, an absolutely brilliant artist for a man of your age, and yet, here you are. Two months ago, you were found in a defunct carnival off the coast of Gotham, with a vigilante known as the Batman beating you to a pulp. You wouldn't be here had it not been for the officers who pulled him off of you. What was that? That's it. Everything that's happened. And that's it? I'd expect more from you, Miss Lane. Okay, then, let's go back. The night about a year ago when you revealed yourself to the world. The night you murdered dozens of people on camera, nearly gunned down the vigilante known as the Robin, burned a man to death on live TV, and faked bomb threats all over Gotham. Both that and the events of two months ago ended with you being detained after being beaten by the Batman. Ah, <sighs> that was a night to remember. And this isn't your first time in Arkham. You've broken out just to cause more terror and chaos throughout Gotham before. Do you enjoy committing acts of terrorism on such a mass suit? You are right there, sweetheart. You enjoy committing acts of terrorism on such a massive scale? Well, of course I do. It's hilarious. Do you enjoy your encounters with the Batman? Do you find those hilarious also? Don't even get me started on him. Let's circle back then. The card you gave to the GCPD before your attack last year said that your entertainment was a metatextual performance concerning the operatic nature of the socio-political environment with three exclamation points. You truly do your research. I'm flattered, Miss Lane. That isn't your only motivation for committing acts of domestic terror in Gotham. There must be something more to this. There is always something more to committing acts of terror on such a dramatic scale. I guess what I'm getting at, what I want to know is more about you. What this is. Oh, this? Little me? Or my work? What would you like to know about? You set the stage, Joker. You're the thespian here. Happy to oblige. On the topic of my work and that of the Batman's, I'd say I'm better at what I do than he is at what he does. Just consider the budgets on these beautiful nights. It only takes a couple grand to kill a dozen or so innocents with some cinematic grandeur and finesse and leave the rest of the city quaking in its boots. Why, what I did to that poor Sap Gordon, not even a hundred bucks. You're proud to do this on a budget, of all things. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? My art really is cheap compared to what the Batman does, and way more effective. If I'm remembering right, you were there on the night I stepped on stage. You mean the first night, the night on the docks, correct? The night of your first attack. That's the one. Yes, I was there. I was watching in the Daily Planet Chopper. Do you remember the crowning moment of that night? 
where he jumped out of his plane and beat the shit out of me. He knocked my teeth in because of the funny bomb threats. But when I told him the punchline, he just wouldn't stop. God, even I know I deserved a good curb stomping, but sheesh, he just couldn't understand why I would do this. And it infuriates me that he just couldn't get the joke. He of all people should understand. Why the Batman of all people? I committed the largest mass murder in American history with remarkable ease, mind you. But I'm getting the spotlight because I put on a funny costume and did what I wanted to do. Maybe, just maybe, that isn't a good thing. None of this is real. It's all a show, a performance. And it's beautiful. As I told the bat, it's complete freedom to put on a mask. I created a moment and he helped me. Art through violence, violence through art. This is now a Shakespearean tale of heroes and villains. So you admit that you're the villain? Oh, he is one just as much as I am. Only he's the greater monster. He does what he does for real. I do what I do because it's funny. It's all a joke. Do you mind if I just break character and speak honestly? Not as the Joker, but as myself, the real me, the artist behind the art. Of course, Joker, whatever you want. Well, if someone doesn't kill me soon, society is going to fall apart. You know I can go on the news the second I break out and say that the government created me. I could say, don't trust the mass media and look at me. People will believe me, okay? Batman is not a sustainable project for mankind. Superman is not a sustainable figure for human culture. The Joker shouldn't exist. And yet here I am. And now there's a Riddler and a Scarecrow. Lex Luthor commits crimes out in public and yet people love him. Human culture is hitting a nexus point where if this isn't wrapped up soon, there are going to be superheroes and supervillains everywhere. And normal people, people like you, are going to be caught in between. We will be living in a world of gods and monsters. And I personally find that not very funny at all. Damn it. Now what I do find funny is what is going to happen to the Batman after that night in the rain. That joke absolutely killed with test audiences. I wanna see how he reacts and what happens to him. Didn't you see his reaction? He was about to kill you for what you did to Gordon, for what you've been doing to Gotham. Oh no, Miss Lane. The best is yet to come. Miss Lane, your time is up. This isn't the last you'll be seeing of little old me, Miss Lane. If what you say is true, I will be there. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it, Batman.
what this tells me. <coughs> Next time, bigger. Next time, more. <laughs> I was thinking too small. That's the lesson! You're a monster. <coughs> no, no, you're the monster. You do this for real. I do it as a joke. <laughs> <laughs>